What is the equivalent of Apple Remove 3.5 mm jack of your favorite products? Google News was great at the beginning. Every single change made to it by Google has made it worse. Also, there's no alternative to Google News that does a good job of aggregating a variety of reporting viewpoints on a single news topic. Edit, this got some attention overnight. Thanks for everyone who came up with suggestions to replace Google News, the award, and upvotes. I care about keeping myself informed and getting multiple sides of a story, which Google News used to be a great tool for. It warms my heart to see many people feel the same way. Google News has me in this weird bubble of stories that I have zero interest in. Like yes, Google, one time in 2019 I looked up the cast of Schitt's Creek. I don't need to see every story that mentions them for the rest of eternity. Miller Welding Machines having slightly different threads on welding tips, a consumable part, so that you are forced to buy Miller brand welding tips. Several times I found myself out in the field, nearly done, and the tip gets clogged. It's a quick easy fix if you have a replacement tip. Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace, all the big box stores carry regular tips but they don't carry Miller. I have to drive to a specialty welding store to get the Miller tip. Because I live in a big city, and there are only a few of these stores in the city, chances are they are far away. There is no chance in hell I can get across town and get back to the job to finish. My day is done. These parts cost maybe a quarter. Epping hate when companies don't conform to industry standards. There comes a point where I'd be tempted to chase that thread with a tap for the industry standard and pray it works. In Australia, Heinz removed the classic 420 gram can of baked beans and replaced it with three different sizes, none of which are the appropriate amount of beans. I no longer eat Heinz beans. This is by far my favorite Reddit comment of the month. I picture you grabbing a can of beans, taking it home, cooking em up but it's not enough beans. So you go back and buy the bigger can. Now it's too many effing beans. But like not enough to put some in a Tupperware to save. So you just got extra beans. Haha, ha, I don't know why this is just killing me. Hilarious. At least someone is benefiting from this bullcrap. You poor bastard. Sincerely, the British. Every so often I write them hate mail. I miss English recipe. Scotch Bright make a thing called a dish wand. The original one was a clear, hollow plastic handle with a screw cap on the end and a small hole on the head, where you attach a sponge head with a scouring pad on it. You fill it with dish soap, which comes out the hole and helps when washing dishes. The first thing they did to ruin it was add a rubber knob to the handle. I think so you could pump it to force more dish soap through, this was pointless because it already sent enough soap through. The problem with this addition is that the soap would leak out around the button and make the handle slippery and get soap all over the place. The next thing they did to ruin it was put a hole in the scouring pad over the soap hole in the handle, so now it uses way more soap than it needs to. This actually makes me mad. I love dish wands and now I no longer use them. Marketing technique to make you buy more soap? I'm going to make bottled water but I'm going to make the bottle leak a lot so that they have to buy more water. Many years ago on Xbox 360 you could watch Netflix with your homies. Your avatars would show up in a movie theater and you could even emote to the movie. So many good times were had just bullcrafting watching random crafty Netflix movies back then. Then out of nowhere, they just took it away I still get sad thinking about it. Not that it is exactly the same, but my friends and I all hop in Discord together and pick a movie slash TV show slash whatever and one of us streams for the rest of us. Closest thing we have found to that so far. Amazon has that feature now with Watch Party and there's a Chrome extension for Netflix parties. Not the same, but still cool to see. I have severe skin allergies, so finding soaps and cosmetics that don't cause irritation is difficult. When I find something that works, the worst thing ever is seeing, new and improved formula stamped on the bottle. Same with toothpastes. I get a lot of canker sores, and I learned there is a certain chemical, sodium lauryl sulfate, that causes them. Trying to find a toothpaste that doesn't have this ingredient is ridiculous. I ended up having to buy this crazy expensive sensodyne paste, because it was literally the only one in the store that didn't have SLS. 
My husband is allergic to SLS, and I'm allergic to mint and cinnamon. We use Hello brand toothpaste in watermelon flavor. It's about the same price as regular toothpaste, but no sores for him and no chemical burns for me. The biggest issue we have is finding good body wash without SLS. It aggravates his psoriasis and causes cystic acne. Dove has a good sulfate-free line, but he says it makes his skin feel slimy. The other brands with sulfate-free selections tend to be a lot more expensive. Look up the r slash curly hair sub. SLS are avoided for curly hair people, they have a big list of SLS free products over there. Or try Dr. Brunner's. Reddit link. Psoriasis owner, I feel you. Eczema sufferer. I feel you too. I searched this whole thread, and I don't see a big one. Craftsmen altering the lifetime warranty of their hand tools so much so that it's a shell of what it used to be. There was a time not so long ago you could take any busted craftsman tool, no matter where you got it or how you broke it, and get it swapped out. It truly was a tool for life. Can't do that anymore. Certainly not coincidentally, the quality of their tools overall has declined along with the removal of the lifetime replacement. Apps that had no need for a subscription now requiring a subscription edit, this is by orders of magnitude the largest response I've ever had on Reddit and it all centered on our mutual hatred of something. So blessed. Thank you for the rewards, I need them to buy insulin, I'm not diabetic I just like the taste. Like effing alarmy. Great alarm app and it helped get me up, but I am not paying monthly for a effing alarm. I'd be willing to pay like 5 pounds for it, but it can eff off otherwise. Yep, this is about to happen with sleep cycle. I've been using it for 1100 nights and now they're switching a bunch of features to monthly subscription. Seriously, I'd pay a flat rate but paying monthly for an alarm clock app is bananas. No Office 365 for me. You can still buy the one-time payment version. I remember years and years ago, probably 6 or 7, you could upgrade the Reddit app for a one-time $5, and no ads. I did that. And it was great. Then suddenly a few years later, that was no longer a thing and now it's a subscription to not have ads. Most CD booklets don't have much artwork anymore. I used to listen to albums whilst looking at the artwork and reading the lyrics. Very few albums have that now. I used to love buying a CD and then reading the lyrics. Not all albums had lyrics, but most of the CDs I bought did. YouTube has been pushing a lot more ads onto me recently. Cable and internet providers are the masters of constantly providing less and trying to charge more for it. Anyone else getting ridiculously long ads? They just go on and on, literally 10 minutes or more. I thought I had clicked on another video somehow, but it was just an ad. So lately I've been forced to reload the page multiple times just to watch the actual video. Insanity. The original Xbox let you rip CDs to the hard drive so you could have custom soundtracks in a lot of games. Burnout and GTA 3 slash Vice City slash San Andreas were so much fun with your own killer soundtrack. This is such an overlooked feature that nobody talks about. I loved having custom music in my games, especially racing games like NFS or Midnight Club. PS4 will let you play Spotify over games. I just mute the in-game music leave the effects and voiceover and such, and poof custom soundtrack to any game. Edit, guys I get it, Xbox does it too. I'm not trying to bash Xbox, I just don't own one so I didn't know. Please stop saying Xbox does this too. Laughing out loud double edit, for those wondering, just hold the PS button during your game and scroll down to music. It's a slight hassle connecting your Spotify initially if I recall correctly, but you only have to do it once. You can also control it from your smartphone slash tablet too. You mean people play Vice City with something other than I ran in Africa on a two song repeat? I totally forgot about this. Such an awesome feature. Custom music while blasting people over the edge walls in arena football. Google vanished Google Music in favor of YouTube Music. This and starting to charge for Google Photos all around the same time. I had all my stuff on there. 
Luckily I'm somewhat technically savvy and this pushed me to set up a NAS with Plex and consolidate all my stuff. Cadbury Dairy Milk no longer exists, the recipe is the product, you can't change the recipe and expect us not to notice. Shrinkflation isn't even a problem if the recipe hadn't been changed. CDM is supposed to have a slight crumble, but it is now a squidgy palm oil filled mess. Kraft slash Mondelez have adulterated something that although not gourmet was a gold standard of the mass market. It is now just cheap crap like everything else. Nobody asked for this, I was willing to pay the slight premium, but boosting revenue by cutting costs on ingredient was more important to you. Along with that is being lied to our face by corporate non-entities who claim it is the same. I remember. Palm oil has ruined so many classic candies and snacks, cookies. You name it. In addition it is ruining the planet. I hate the stuff with a passion. The first company I've ever boycotted and have done successfully for years now, the writing was on the wall when Kraft pledged and promised all sorts of crap for positive PR back when they first commenced the takeover and then as soon as it was confirmed it was pants down and straight to dry effing the entire brand. Horrible waxy brown crap that is sacrilege to the Cadbury name, and what's with banging effing Oreo and everything? Exactly the crap you would expect from a huge multinational, on the plus side their stock has absolutely tanked over the last four years and following this trend they'll probably have to start selling off assets. Lint is the only joy I can find in the affordable chocolate space now. Edit, forgot to add, the corporate gas lighting that nothing has changed is effing diabolical. Edit 2, can't believe I forgot about Ritter Sport. Also a solid choice. The shame is we will never get the real stuff back, and the kids will never know. I wonder if the queen can get the original recipe. Adobe products becoming subscription-based. I want to just pay once for Adobe Photoshop not every single month. And thus, internet piracy flourished. Of course, installing software is probably the most dangerous thing to pirate. Adobe doesn't care too much if people pirate their software, since 90% of their money comes from big companies, universities and schools buying subscriptions. Laptops have less and less I.O. I know it's being replaced with docs, but that kind of defeats the purpose of a laptop in the first place. My laptop has a Thunderbolt, two USBs, a headphone jack, an HDMI port, and an Ethernet jack. That's honestly above average for a laptop these days, but it feels pretty skimpy. I have a gaming laptop. It is not an ultrabook designed to be super sleek and thin and light. It is big and chunky. And it only has two USB plugs. Only two why? Why in the F would a gaming laptop have so little amount of ports? It's bullcrap honestly. When Samsung did the same. Or when EA decided to go back to individual blocks instead of entire neighborhoods for The Sims 4. I enjoy The Sims 4, but The Sims 3 was so cool in having entire towns. Right? The whole world felt so much more alive because I could just walk down the street to my neighbor's house and start a fire. I had never considered this. Looks like it's time to boot up Sims 3 again. I like the difference between the two examples and definitely yes for the second one. They also took out tons of stuff that was included in Sims 3 base and sold it piecemeal in 4. Sims 3 for life. Back in my day. Just even three years ago, you were able to buy smartphones where the user could easily remove the battery and replace it themselves. Broke my LG G5, at the time, the last LG phone with a removable battery by owner, and went with a Samsung S20. That LG lasted me 3.5 years until I dropped it and broke its screen. When my battery started losing its charge quickly, I bought another battery from the retailer and it was practically good as new. I swapped the G5 battery so many times. Was a great phone and lasted forever because the first thing to go is always the battery. I used to have two batteries, one I'd charge in my phone and the other I'd use a USB prong adapter to power up. Cars with no spare tire. Many new cars with no dipstick to check the oil. Downward spiral of not being able to fix your own things is outrageous, but people keep buying this crap. Netflix forces me to watch previews when I don't want to watch them. You can stop this. 
I hate those damn loud previews. I think almost everyone does. You do have to sign in via a computer, guess they don't want to make it too easy for people to do this, but it's so worth it. From a web browser, go to your account page. Open the profile and parental control settings for the profile you want to manage. Change the playback settings. Check or uncheck the option to autoplay previews while browsing on all devices. Note, your device may require a refresh to pick up the updated settings. To refresh, dash switch to another profile, then switch back. Or, sign out of your device and sign back in. Hope that helps. COD multiplayer lobbies are no more. It resets every match. After the match, those players are gone. The better graphics aren't worth what we lost. Yeah it was fun having little mini parties with the same people just playing for hours and then adding people to your friends list before you left. Nowadays games just assume you have friends to invite slash join. There's no actual social aspect to most games anymore. Wow I haven't played Call of Duty in years, that sounds so sad. What a waste. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.